Hi, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Channel 6 TV. I'm Kenny Fogel, your host. Glad you could be with us. And I've always been, for the last few years, I've had the honor of being part of the Rotary Club. And, uh, and the Rotary Club does a lot of things throughout the year, raising money. And uh, But it also gives out a lot of money. And one of those things, as far as a community outreach, is, uh, is Kids Day. And I've got Don Bresnahan here with me right now. And Don is the uh, head honcho for Bre uh, Kids Day. So Don, welcome, welcome to the show. Well, thank you, Kenny. I wouldn't call me the head honcho, but... Uh a lot, of rip, a lot of burdens fell on my shoulder. Well, that's head honcho in my room. That's my definition. We get a lot of help. We got a lot of help from the Rotary, and we get a lot of help from the kids, believe it or not. A lot of the high school kids throughout Nelson County, they'll be here before the day's over, helping us, supporting on uh, various functions that we got going on. Well, they've been doing this for 20-some years, as I know of, and uh, and basically, what, what, what do you got going on here? Well, today? the neat thing about this, and what I, I think is so cool, is it's free. It's absolutely free to any child that lives in Nelson County. Uh -huh. We've got five moon bounces, uh, inflatables out here. We've got ice cream. we got p face painting. We've got a whole bunch of stuff going on keep the kids will have a good time before they leave all That's right it. well yeah and one of the things i know you've always been dead i'm not gonna throw out any secrets or anything but you usually when santa claus is around around christmas time yeah, we I, can't find I, you anywhere I, I, I have a pretty good relationship well with you him. and santa claus are never in the same room let's just put that way well, <laughs> that's what they tell me anyhow he's he's a pretty good guy and, and he i talked talked to him the other day and he's looking forward to uh rolling into bardstown for the uh light up and uh, Christmas parade and visiting with all the well, kids. Well, this is sort of an early Christmas present to kids that you're doing here. I mean, it's a lot of work. I mean, I know what you're going through. I've, I've been around it before. Well, and I just uh, looked across the way. I got We got the Boy Scouts coming in. They'll be here late, late oh, soon. And they got a big uh, rope walk that is pretty cool. We That it gets to be very popular as the day goes on as well as the inflatables. And you do this every year? Do this every year. Right before spring third, or fall break, I guess. Third Thursday in September before the fall break. Okay, so that's a great time. People, kids are getting ready to go on fall break and they get to come up here. And every kid in Nelson County can come. It's free. Actually, we don't even check if they're from Nelson County. They might even slip one in from Washington oh, County every now and then. We don't <laughs> check IDs. But if you're 13, I'm going to look at you real hard. There you go. Say, I don't think you ought to be in here, do you? Yeah, well, some of these bouncy oh, houses. Me and you might get one of them bouncy houses yeah, after a while. We'll yeah, see yeah. how that works. Well, I appreciate you stopping by. Let me look over here and ask. Tommy, oh, you slip over here just a second or two. Uh, now, as we, I just said, but Don, you've done this for over 20 years, and if anybody ought to know, you do. You've been here. I mean, I hate to say you're the old man, but you've been here longer than anybody in the Rotary Club. We'll be celebrating our 40th anniversary of starting our Barstown Rotary Club. And we started kind of small. And then we grew we, by doing wine, wine and cheese tasting and getting part of the Spirits Garden at the Bourbon Festival. We started increasing the funds that were available to do things. And rather than always do something that's alcoholic related, we, we decided, like I said, it's been about 25 years or so ago, that we need to give back to the community. The community has been so good to us that it's time to give, make sure we give back. So we'll be spending about fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars today, giving away the free ice cream, face painting, everything's free. And uh, the parents really, they say thank you. And like I said, uh, we're appreciated for this event. And so uh, we keep on going. We have scholarships that we give out with the, all that money. Uh, it's just one of those things that we need to give back to the well, community. Giving back to the community, obviously, you've been a rotary. I'm going to say you're a rotary brat. Your dad did this for many years. As a matter of fact, he was a district governor, I believe. So uh, uh, rotary's been in your blood for a little bit of time. Uh, yes, uh, my summer vacations <laughs> were wherever Rotary International was having their convention. And uh, so I, I met a lot of people from all around the world, and they drummed into me yeah. that, that that's part of it is service above self yeah. is our motto and like I said uh, it, as age increases in, in mind it gets harder and harder <laughs> to put all these hours in but then I turn around and look at the smiling faces that we have and that makes it worthwhile. Uh, Kids Day right here, except right before the fall break every year. And, uh, right here on the hall, uh, lawn of City Hall is where we are. i got another old timer here. He's going to be handing out ice cream. And Odie, you've been handing out ice cream about every year, haven't you? Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, been every year for I don't know how long, but it's been a long time, and I've been in Rotary over 30 years. So yeah. you know, so you know, it's a good thing for kids; they enjoy it, and you know, and so it's a oh, it's a good day. It's a nice, pretty day. Just dry. We need rain, but anyway, uh, but a lot of kids that show up and 
they'll have fun here with bouncy. We got five bouncy houses here, so we got plenty for the kids to do. All right, we got Ruddy Wheeler, Tommy Reed, and Don Bresnahan. Tommy, one more thing. I just again, we've been doing this, like I said, a long time. The city of Bardstown has been very gracious, allowing us to do this yeah. on on the lawn. They supply the electricity, have these boxes set up and everything. Yeah. Jeff Miller and Jeff Mills and, and that group, then the recreation department, they come down with the picnic tables and the, the trash cans. Uh, and, you know, there's a lot of people out there that help Even us. the fire department. And, uh, the fire department, they'll tour you on the on the tur trucks. They'll get the little Dalmatian out for yeah. you. And Oreo. <laughs> the Oreo. And then also they'll even have their own bouncy house here. Mm -hmm. And so they put in a lot there. Uh, Jim Hagen of State Farm, he has... Uh, uh, a, a giant bubble thing. In fact, this year we're going to try to get blow a bubble large enough for a small kid to step into the bubble, and hope they don't float away like yeah. a Wizard of Oz or yeah. something. So anyway, <laughs> so it's a lot of fun, but a lot of people help us make it. Cool. All right. Well, this is uh, the Rotary Club's Kids Day here at uh, Bardstown every year, every year, right here on the lawn of the City Hall. And we hope if you didn't make it this year, write it down on your calendar right now. We'll be back here next year for the Bardstown Rotary Club's Kids Day here on in Bardstown. And it's the Thursday before spring break or fall break. I keep getting the, my years mixed up, but it is fall. You can see the leaves falling here. So uh, again, Rotary gives back. Kenny Fogel here. Hope you stick around. Hope you come to the show. Come to this thing sometime and bring your kids. All right.